Yeah. Yes. Thank you. I pre appreciate everyone's patience. Uh, all right, let me go back to the next five. Doug Atkins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my name is Doug Atkins. I'm the owner of two assisted living facilities here in Northeast Florida, and I'm also the regional board member for the Assisted Living Association of uh, Florida. There's two major challenges facing Florida in the next five years, a couple of years, and it's how to handle the growing problems centered around the aging population, rising levels of acuity, and to ensure access to affordable quality care. At the same time, Florida's struggling to find solutions to a mental health crisis that's spiraling out of control, spilling into our streets and our schools and our prisons. These challenges are compounded and made more difficult by Proposal 88, which is pending before the CRC. Let me just say this, for most facilities, protecting resident rights is part of our culture. It's part of what we do every day, and it's a significant part of our duty as, as assisted living administrators. But let me share with you the realities of what we face as we look ahead. The insurance carriers are likely going to have, have a significant impact on this. So as we look ahead, the insurance carriers are going to say to me as an assisted living administrator, okay, fine. Here's what we're going to do. They're going to start to regulate and they're start going to limit who we're going to be able to accept in our facilities. They're going to start to have an impact on the age. They're going to start to have an impact on the type of disability. So what does all this mean for the average Floridian? This means that we're going to start to price out people. They're going to raise the rates. They're going to limit the types of people that we can accept into our facilities. And what's going to happen to those people with complex, serious mental health problems? Well, we're going to have to find a new place for them. What happens to those people who have complex symptoms that you know, we can't continue to care for? Well, we're going to have to start driving up the nursing home costs. You're going to end up spiking the Medicaid costs. So you know, the reality is, is that when you start looking at what we're facing, $12.25 a day is the Medicaid rate for an assisted care service person in an assisted living facility. That's not a lot of money. $1,100 a month is what Medicaid pays for long-term care. So the reality is, is that this is going to be a very, very serious problem, and I'd ask for you to vote no on ADA. Thank you, sir. Diane Wiles. I'm with you there. Good afternoon. I am here asking you to vote yes on Proposal 67, 